let's uh, move you this way a little bit. for down now. Oh no, don't do that. Perfect. There. That's actually better. Good boy. So this is not comfortable. No. That made it bleed a little. Well, he bumped it into the wall there too. Yeah. Alright, buddy. That's the local anesthetic. Try to make it so he didn't feel it so much. And I think he actually took the horn off. It he took the outer That's covering just off. The, the inner flesh. Yeah, it all fell off. Jeez, oh, how would he? How would one do that? Just crack it well, in so, the face? Yeah, I think we were talking about that on the phone a little bit. You know, if they He's just they crack it, it, and it didn't take the bone off, but it's uh. It, uh, like a rooster it, with a spur just cleaned his top. Right. Okay. So all this is is like just this flesh. This raw, raw quickie in there. Oh, baby. No wonder you don't want me touching it. Yeah. He was up here like looking for help. And I went over to look at it. And he's like, nope, nope, never mind. You're going to touch me. You're going to look pretty funny with one horn there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to see if there was something I could do to save the horn and you know in theory if you really wanted him to have the horn <laughs> um, we could wrap it oh he's he's a meat boy it's yeah. just what's gonna make him feel fastest and most comfortably right yeah I mean I could wrap all that but uh, the minute then you're gonna have to deal with a wrap yeah the minute he's around anybody else. Yeah. And it would heal, it's just... We may be better off just taking them off. I, yeah. That, that okay? Both of them? Well, I mean, I can give him just one horn. Why would you take the other one? He's okay with one. Well, that was me. If you want. Yeah, it wasn't me. You want to yeah. leave him with one? No, no, he can... This one's fine. Okay, we so leave him with one. one. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if you wanted him lopsided. <laughs> no, unless it's going to cause him trouble to no, be off sighted. That's good. It'll, <laughs> it'll just look funny. Yeah, I'm just going to, yeah, just taking that off. Like I said, if, you know, if they were a little more manageable, where you can like change a bandage daily. Well, he's not too bad, but <laughs> if pretty... we have to keep him in here for more than a day or two, then things are going to get less and less manageable. He's he's a real good boy. Um, he is our bottle baby. There's you, a plug over there. Yes. Does, does the is is part of that an extension cord that I could attach to, or should I get my extension cord out of my car? Um. How bit how long an extension cord? Do I, I do not have a spare extension without a lot of flipping around. Uh, it's just a pretty good. Uh, electrical outlet. Yeah, it's yes. twenty amp. Oh. Poor Fergus. Poor Fergus. <laughs> Such your chart. Uh, yeah. Sometimes they just saw off nice and clean and move yeah, right And other times it's a mess. So if you just hang on to that for a minute. Yep. And then turn them out. Yeah. The cold will do it good. Hey. All right. It's goofy. I don't. Oh, mister. He pulled the whole outside. He gloved it. He mm. gloved it. Yeah. Mm. So somewhere there's a little baby horn out there. We'll know where the shit went down when we find so it. So that's not the outer horn? That's just the inside? Yep. Yeah. That's the. Oh. He basically turned that and pulled it off. So how the hell? I don't know how they do those, but they happen. <laughs> Boy, that old man. Well, thank you for coming out. 
Oh, darn. We always seem to pick you, pick you on good um, days. Hey, Rowan. Yeah. Do you have any arnica in your room? Fresh up. Fresh up. I have arnica down, I think, in the cat bowl thing there. Yeah. Grab that. I'm going to want it. Not right this second, but okay, okay. I should have given that to him earlier. I was not thinking. Anything else? Huh? Anything else? No. You don't have to watch if you don't want to. <laughs> no, let her know that she doesn't want to. Okay, yeah, she does definitely does not want to come out. Cauterize it right there. Boy. Yeah, if you're lucky, this kind of cauterizes the whole thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. There's a little spurter. A little bit. our bottle baby from the mama that wanted nothing to do with him. Oh. That's why it's so easy to yeah. handle. Yeah, we had to go out in the field and pull him. He was gigantic. He was not coming. Yeah, he'll have a lot less pain with it off than he would. Uh, yeah. Trying to get it to toughen up. It keeps yeah. Especially digging. in this, I can't imagine what that wind feels like. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> and at least for uh, another hour or so, we won't feel anything because yeah. of the block. We still have some of those pain pills. Yeah, that if be... you want to give them that. I mean, generally, we don't do that for these guys. They, they're pretty tough, but um, since you got them. He's a wussy baby. Since you got them. <laughs> it, it, how, uh, how many would you do for him? Ten, maybe? Yeah. Fifteen? Yep. Perfect. He, I mean, he probably weighs four or five hundred pounds, huh? Yeah, at least five hundred, maybe yeah. six hundred. Might as well He's make pretty thick. Good boy. I'll be a year old <laughs> January 6th. Happy birthday! How many are in there? Enough for now. I have more upstairs, that's fine. Should have given him some of those right when I put them in, but I didn't think of it. Make that into a soup, you think? Mm. Yeah. Is it okay to get these dirty? Yeah. Yes, that's what they're for. Poor buddy. Guess we got them all. Poor baby boy. Yeah. Yeah. Up a bit. Mm. I wasn't sure if you were going to have to lay them down on them or what. Do what now? Oh, the towels. They're... Fully destroyable. Poor baby. I would uh, clip his hair here, but no. I think just being with the, the weather the way it is, <laughs> we'll just kind of get the wet stuff as best we can off. Otherwise, <laughs> he's going to be cold enough with this already, so yeah. we just need to make him more cold. Here, let's make it naked. Yeah. But yeah, he'll uh, at least make him look better. If you feel like you want, I mean, most of this blood, once it dries, he'll just wear it off real quick. Yeah. yeah. Roll it or wear out or whatever. But uh, if we, you felt like you wanted the blood more off, you can use peroxide. Well, we can no, just get a so comb and comb it off. It'll yeah, come exactly. right off. Eye as much as possible. Yeah. That, that feels so good, salty eye blood. Well, that looks better. Something else. Yeah, that's... That looks better. It's going to feel a lot better when you wake up, baby. It'll be a little lopsided, though. <laughs> hey, Rowan. Yeah? Grab one of those combs that are on the back seat, back of the four-wheeler, the black ones, that are have good, you know, 
times. Okay, so for him waking up. Yes. Um, really, the aftercare is just about um, taking care of him that he wakes up properly. Okay. Yes, um, he can sleep here for the rest of the night. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I'd, so, re I'd like to have some bales of hay, but I do not have any bales of well, hay. Well, we have that mountain. camera that we can stick back out here so we can check on him without having to check on him. Yeah, one nice thing about this, he's on a little incline, yeah. which the way he is right. right now is perfect. Now, if he gets the other way, yeah. yeah. But the way he's right now, this is perfect for him, so... But yeah, bale of hay, whatever, or just or just watch him. Well, we can go get. How long till he's gonna be able to eat to have food and oh, hay in front of it's safe for him to start trying? It's probably gonna be a couple hours. Is what? it okay to stick it in here with him and use that to prop him up, or do we want to keep it so he can't eat? Um, it's okay to put it in prop it. Up. Okay. You know, we kind of one of those. I think as long as you don't have like a big pile of loose grain or hay that he's like gonna dive into, he'll well, see, that's what but if, got, it's, if it's an actual bale, he'll Well, we've got fine. the brown bales, so we could come strip it out and kind of pack it behind him, but I'm scared he'll start eating. Yeah, I think I'd wait. Too. If it's just round bales, I'd probably yeah. wait and just okay. throw, uh, oh, thank you. Um, you know, just kind of watch him or whatever. Pick something here. You could always put that, like, yeah. throw something in there that's heavy, and but uh, anyway. I think if that's on its face behind him, that might be just enough to keep him from yeah. relaxing back. Okay. See if we can't get this to be dry instead of get colder. Yeah, last time I you wore that. I really appreciate you, were you new. bringing him in here. Yeah. <laughs> way better for me, way, way better for him. Oh, yeah. Um, no, this is awesome. No, he's. He's one of the most handleable because <laughs> because oh. we had to catch him how yeah, many times a day. If, if you're gonna have one do this to the horn, might as well be him. Yeah. All... It is funny that he just people like that. Weird. <laughs> so I've seen a couple of those, and uh, I don't know if I've ever like had anybody tell me that they figure out how they did it. <laughs> I I think unless you have a camera that right. actually shows you. <laughs> yeah. The odds of figuring out how that happened, boy. Kind of interesting, they had a whole talk at the last bovine practitioners meeting, a whole talk on horn care. There was a lady, like that was her specialty, was horn injuries. Like he's, she's in Texas where they have a lot of longhorns and stuff. Oh yeah. They do x-rays and everything in there. Wow. So aside from it spurting blood, is there anything that we need to be watching for with that? So you have a big hole going into his sinus. Yes. Typically, there's no problem. Occasionally, you'll get one that'll get infection in there. Now, those are usually the ones that we do in summertime. You get flies and right. maggots in there. This time of year, this might actually be yeah. Really it should. Good. <laughs> it shouldn't be. Like I said, right now, it's more just he's cold weather. He's gonna get colder because he doesn't have that uh, cover. But yeah, um, it's all right, buddy. But yeah, as far as uh, upkeep, um, you'll see some eucoid discharge. Now, if, you, if it starts to seem like, like, oh, that looks stinky or pussy. Yeah, you or... that, call me. And okay. They're, they're usually pretty easy to treat. It's just, um, yeah, you, you just don't want to have to. And the problem is you can't, it takes so long for them to close. It's not like you throw a bandage on there for a little while. Yeah. yeah. But I was going to say, that's they, a big herkin hole. We, we do a ton of these. Well, luckily, we don't do a ton of them anymore. We used yeah. to do a ton of these, but now we've got people to dehorn when they're really little. Yeah. Um, but still, you know, when we do them, they... We rarely get a call. Okay. Well, amazingly enough. <laughs> so, I and have... if, if you ever have to treat them, I'll typically give them a shot of antibiotics. Okay. And then uh, uh, flushing them out with some peroxide or something like that. And then, um, you know, the mastitis tubes that we use for treating cows yeah. mastitis? Those yeah. actually work pretty well if you squirt those in there. The teramycin? Is that what that is? No, or... that, that's for the eyes. Uh, oh. Like today tubes. They're a... Would you do okay. the today or tomorrow? Doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, um, you, you don't. You won't need to do that unless it's a problem. Right. I'm gonna get um, a little spray to put on him. So. Okay. He's got, or I have, colloidal silver colloidal. Mhm. Mm Is that something I can spritz on there, or do we want to just keep it? That's fine. I mean, I'm gonna, the stuff I'm putting on. It's not silver, but it's silver spray. Okay. It, it, and you, I mean, you can spray that on. It's no big deal. Okay. I just. The hole makes me nervous. Yeah, but you don't <laughs> want to just put a bunch of stuff in there unless you really have to. Right. Oh boy. Poor fur guys. Some things just leave it alone. 
alone or better than that. Yeah. It's all right, buddy. It's you guys okay. go to the coffee place down there much at the Camino Commons? No. Mm -mm. My daughter just got a job down there. Oh, cool. I think Moira worked there. Too. Moira did work there, our yeah. daughter. The guy that Erickson's had owned that place uh, go to our church, so mm. they were in desperate need of more help, and my Ooh. daughter needed a job, so. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Well, thanks for coming out. Yeah. Don't forget no, your glad cord. We, uh, Glad we went ahead and did that. Yeah. That'd be kind of miserable to deal with. Yeah. It? That whole yeah. outside being gone, that's not yeah. something I want to no, and try and figure out. I don't know that there's any good time of year to have that. No. <laughs> like that. no. I mean, <laughs> maybe maybe that maybe the cold helps the snow falling keep on the bleeding. Possibly be nice. Right. Down, but who knows? Right. Hang on, buddy. I'm gonna see if I can get that under. And he's a big, strong guy, so he can lose a lot of blood and, and yeah. still do okay. Well, that so. was the other part I was scared of. It's like, okay, he's shivering. Is that cold or shock? Or... Well, probably pain. <laughs> yeah. 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 Probably a little bit of just ouchy. That's that's like. Grab, I'll grab his head up. I said he he'll be less painful with what I did than he would have leaving that. Oh yeah, big yeah. Open thing on. Maybe you like that for a minute. <laughs> the silver documentation. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I know you're the one that did it. <laughs> She's got yeah. blood all down her side. Either that or he was rubbing it on her. I did, yeah. Oh. Did you do that to your poor, poor little brother? She's actually, she's, you can see, she's here. She's yeah. walking good. I mean, better. The moss scam helper. Yes, it no, did. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I noticed that you came pick up some more. I was like, okay, that must mean that it was helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. She, well, she's not getting them every day. We just kind of keep an eye on her. And yeah, if maybe. something's going wrong, give her a couple yeah. days. And Yeah. She hasn't got a, had any for a week or a week or more. Her her That's her right there. Right here. Yeah. yeah. Big horn. Right. Big horns and big butt. Yep. Yeah. I can't see the big butt. She's anymore. lost a lot of weight, but. Yeah. Yeah, I even brought the little generator just in case. We <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. I only have to pull that out. You are prepared. Yeah, the owner of the clinic, he bought a couple of those little Honda inverter generators. Yep. And, uh, man, those are handy. That's what we have. We have a big one for our house. Yeah, yeah, for uh, doing dehorns or whatever. <laughs> oh, he won't be able to itch himself with him up on that side. And on that. Hey, baby. baby. You're okay. You're okay. You're all right. Sisters are concerned about him. I you very. I'm concerned about the grain that he has. I know there's something wrong with that boy, huh? Oh, there's buckets. There's buckets. Hey, Ozzy. Had about five inches of snow last night. What you doing, Enid? What you doing, baby? Enid has a bunch of blood on her, down there on her shoulder, and some on the side of her face where they he rubbed on her or something. You didn't break. He was trying to rub you didn't break your brother's horn, did ya? You didn't do that. You didn't do that, did ya? I think he was trying to rub his eye clean on her. This hurts. It's winter wonderland. Hi, Delta. Hi, baby. What should I, should I? There's something I should be scratching? Huh? Huh, sweet pea? Yeah. Hey. <gasps> oh, you got icicles. You got icicles, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you got icicles. Don't 
lick it. Eagle up in the tree there, looking for chickens. Well, it happened last night. Well, at some point... Could it, could it ha must have happened early this morning. Yeah. Just wondering if he could tell from where the house of blood was. No. I'm hoping it happened really early this morning instead of that the poor baby was in that snow all night. With his stingy, stingy brain. Stingy, stingy brain bone. What you think, Elsie? Elsie. Hey, baby. He was sniffing his horn. Hey, Elsie. His horn innards. Enid. I don't have any carrots or nothing for you. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. You're too wet to, to brush or anything. Girls, be careful with your horns. That should be a lesson to you, huh? Poor Fergus. Poor old Fergus. There's a dry spot. There's a dry spot. Oh, it's warm too. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like.